Hi, welcome to the flight instruction video by Zero. Today, I'm going to show you the do's and don'ts during a flight. Choose open fields as a takeoff location. Stay away from obstacles like crowds, buildings, and high voltage power lines. First of all, put the drone on the ground. Turn on the remote control and press the bow button for about 3 seconds. When you hear the indication sound, it means the drone is switched on. Now, all four indicators are switched on. Red indicates the front of the drone, and the blinking green and yellow indicates the rear of the drone. To make sure the sensors work better and steady flight, we suggest you to calibrate the campus when you go to a new takeoff location. And now, I'll show you how to calibrate the campus. Pull the throttle with loose position and hold. Press the RC button for 6 times. And now, the rear indicators return to solid green. Rotate the drone horizontally for 720 degrees. And now you will see the rear indicators turn into yellow rapidly. Now, let the front of the drone face downward. And you will see the rear indicator turn to solid yellow. We'll hit the drone vertically for 720 degrees. And now you will see the rear indicators blink yellow or green slowly, which means the calibration is done. We strongly recommend you to restart the drone after the calibration to refresh the GPS signal and ensure safety. Before you comprehend the control technique, do not install the gimbal on the drone. If you install the gimbal on the drone, Please make sure the landing gear is on vertical position. Please notice that the throttle is set to left stick at default. If you want to switch to your favorite controlling style, please check the menu for details. Pull the left stick to bottom left and right stick to bottom right to activate the motors. Release the stick when the motors are activated. Push the left stick up gently to take off, and the drone will stay steady in the air when you release the stick. Use the left stick to ascend, descend, rotate counterclockwise. and rotate clockwise. Use the right stick to move forward and backward. Left Right To ensure a steady flight Please make sure you push the stick gently during your flight. The followings are IOC button, home return button, and auto takeoff landing button. These three buttons are only available in GPS flight mode, and keep your hands on the remote. The button on the right is auto takeoff landing button. Press the button, and the drone will take off and start hovering at 3 meters height. Press the button again when the drone has taken off. You can also use the button to land. Press the button when the drone is hovering above your preferred location. And the drone will descend slowly. Press the button again when the drone has landed. The button on the left is Intelligent Orientation Control button. It's really helpful 
when the drone is too far away from you and you are not sure about the phone and the wheel. Press down the button to activate IOC mode. The drone will ignore its current orientation and use the home point as a reference. Push the stick forward. The drone will fly away along the extended line of current position and the home point. Pull the stick backward. The drone will fly back along the extended line. The button in the middle is the home return button. Press the button and the drone will land on home point automatically. If the distance between the home point and the drone is less than 25 meters and the height is greater than 20 meters, the drone will fly back to home point at its current height and land on the ground. If the distance between home point and the drone is greater than 25 meters and the height is less than 20 meters, the drone will ascend to 20 meters height and then fly back to home point and land. Press the button again after landing. You can tell the connection status by the indicators on the remote. From left to right, there are four indicators. The one on the left is Wi-Fi connection indicator. When the indicator is off, it means no range extender is kinetic. Green indicators means the range extender is kinetic. And red indicators means the range extender is disconnected. Yellow indicators mean the range extender is restarting. Next one is drone connection indicator. Red indicator means the drone is in abnormal status. Red indicators means the connection is stable. Next one is GPS indicator. Red indicates the drone is in attitude flight mode. Green indicates the drone is in GPS flight mode. If the GPS indicator is blinking with the drone indicator, it means the drone is disconnected. The last one is battery indicator. Green indicates the remote battery is sufficient. And red indicates the remote battery is in low level. Please understand the restricted flight area before your flight. The drone can't take off within a range of 3 km to your local airport. And from 3 km to 10 km, the flight height is restricted. For more information, please follow the demonstration and check the local regulations. That's all for the flight instruction video by Zero. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.